Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 5 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. We still got to improve on the figure eight. It's not, I mean, so I mean, I'm just, I'm tough on you because we've been, you know, I expect, I expect a lot out of skilled guys. So that figure eight is okay. I mean, every one of these casts should be as far as you can cast it. You can keep your rod tip down a touch um, and just let her go. Just bomb it. I'm only being hard on you on it because I know you're a very skilled and capable angler. Most folks, I would be very happy and content with that, and that'd be, we could get away with that all day. That'd be awesome. But. So when I'm coming in, do I start in and go out towards you? Come all the way In and swing it out. If we're going left, I would swing out left every time a rat. Oh, keep going. Oh, she got her. Dude, you have her? Yep. Oh my God. I'm bringing it around. Okay, do what you got to do. That's a really, really big fish, man. Bring her up. Oh my God. Dude, that's oh. a that's a really big fish, dude. I know that. It's the biggest fish I've ever caught. That's a humongous. Holy Oh shit. my god. And dude, it's off. You I mean, dude, that's a big big fish, Adam. That's a huge fish. That's uh that's oh huge. Oh my god, I saw it coming in the whole way too. Yeah. Didn't you? And I looked and I said, "Did you did you have it?" Yeah. And she had Not, it. No, it, right when you said it is when she took it. Uh I got her for now. This is good. Dude, that's now we got a now we got a musky show. All right, guys, Adam Stein with a trophy, oh. Wisconsin muskie. Oh my God, dude. That is an absolute mammoth fish. Wow, dude. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's a monster, dude. Congratulations. Holy crap, we'll get her back and we'll fill the folks in on how we got her. This It's a trophy in Northern Wisconsin. You don't get them this big, you know, they just, I keep holding her until they, she really goes. She's in good shape, which is awesome. There she goes. That's what we wanted. Yes. Now that is the way to release them, dude. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this musky segment. I am here with the one and only Adam Stein, dude. Coming all the way in from Overland, Kansas. This guy is a stud and dude, how about that, that, that musky, guys. I mean, you saw it, that was a big, 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 big fish, man. That was a personal best. <laughs> a PB, and it, it's one of those, you know, rare occasions that every once in a while this kind of stuff happens, guys, where everything went well. That everything that, you know, could have gone wrong didn't go wrong. We did it right. Yeah, it, it, we, it started with the light change, and uh, I went for my sunglasses because we just, we got the glare on the water, and thank God we did because I wouldn't have seen the fish coming. Uh, you saw it, you spotted it at the same time. And so, time okay, guys, this is one of the weird, you know, uh, I guess we'll say, you know, interesting parts about this catch is that we, you know, both Adam and I saw this muskie strike the old 500 grape flame. I mean, it was not in the figure eight. No, no. It, but it was, you know, in range where we could actually see the muskie following. It nipped. And then we both kind of, well, almost, we got to review the footage. It was almost like we looked at each other and said, I think she's got it. Yeah, you, you couldn't tell because you didn't try to turn with it. It was beak hooked and it just got the weight on the end of it and, and ended up having to drag her around the side of the boat. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't... Well, okay, so two things. One is sometimes, guys, even when you're bucktail fishing, sometimes these strikes are not pow. I mean, the second or actually the third one you caught today was a big pop. But this one was a visual, okay, I think she's got that bait. Let's set the hook. And then, but you said the, the big thing that you, you know, you got this big nine foot St. Croix, uh, you know, Mojo Muskie. I mean, you just, you just poured the coals to it. And yeah, and thank God we were able to see it because it, there was really no way to feel that it was actually in its mouth. No. And, and we had the length and we were able to pull it down in the water. And honestly, we fought it like it was, like we picked it up in the figure eight, you know, basically dragging it the whole way in. It was, it was a communication thing when it was just like, I, you knew it wasn't hooked. I'm pretty sure you said it's not hooked well, coming this way. I got out of the way as the net man, and I just let Adam do his thing. It's like you, I couldn't see where the fish was hooked. I'm assuming it was in the beak, and you just towed her around the front, and we lifted her in, yeah, and that I, was it. I knew if we lost tension, she was gone. And, and so, the hooks came out in the net. Yeah. So, 
guys, there you go. A lot, a lot to take from that. You know, just a couple things really mainly getting back to visual strikes, you know, always keeping an eye on your blade. In this case, we would have missed the fish. And then communicating with your net man or woman and, you know, hauling the fish in. If they're not hooked good and you got somebody with you, just get them in the net. Well, dude, congrats on a PB, man. Awesome muskie. Guys, we can't thank you enough for watching. And as always, thanks again. See you next time.